Bonjour, comment ça va? Je m'appelle Shandy Wong. Comment t'appelles-tu? Au revoir. This is basically a very short, brief introduction. Hello, my name is, what's your name? How's it going? Conversation in French. By the time you finish with this, you will actually understand what I just said and be able to do it yourself. Uh, so the first word that you heard was bonjour. And you're probably very familiar with this word. Um, and this, in English, we say hello. The French say bonjour. The Australians say this, good day. Same thing. The word bon means good. And the word jour means day. We get our word journal from this. We get our uh, journal, something you write in every day. Um, so when I am teaching French, there are always going to be two translations that I'm going to ask you for. Uh, obviously, the French, which is not a translation. Uh, then you have what I call F-E. And this means French English. And this stands for the fact that I want to see the breakdown of it, not hello. Even though this means hello and we use it to say hello, it's going to be much easier if you learn the French English, okay? Uh, this is one of the problems that a lot of people have on the free translation sites as well. The free translation sites, you get what you pay for. And so, for instance, if I typed in my name is in free translation and I typed it in and said, okay, give me the French, it's going to give me mon nom est. And guess what? That literally means my name is. But that's not how the French speak. They speak a different language. They do not speak English with French words. They speak a completely different language. And you've got to wrap your brain around that, or otherwise none of it will actually end up making sense. I'm, I'm honestly trying to help you. It's, it's almost like a, when you learn algebra for the first time, you have to have all of those little steps in there to get you there. Eventually, can you get rid of those little steps? Yes. But at the beginning, if you mess up those little steps, or you don't do them, are you ever going to get that foundation? No. You, ju you just have to have it. So, um, so the French English, mon nom es, my name is, okay, uh, doesn't work in French. The correct way to say my name is in French is je m'appelle. None of these words are even the same. Completely different language. So, je m'appelle, what does it mean in French English then? Okay. I, myself, call. So, in English, it would be like almost like I call myself. What's your name? I, how do you call yourself? And that's actually how the French ask somebody's name. And then you say, I call myself. Now, you'll notice in English, myself would be at the end. The direct object would be at the end of it, or the indirect object. But in French, it's going to come before the conjugated verb. Don't, don't, don't get it. Don't, don't panic. I'll get you there, I promise, okay? But it comes before the, the verb. So, for instance, when you say, I love you in French, you do not say, I love you. You say, I love you you love. Same type of thing. So I is je. You for now it's going to be T apostrophe. And then um. So this is pronounced je tam. Je tam. And it actually can mean I like you and I love you. So uh, that can get a little, little confusing. You might want to have to clarify when you, when you tell somebody that. Uh, but je t'aime, I, you, love. Je m'appelle, I, myself, call. And then you would just have your name. So je m'appelle Shandy Wall. Bonjour, je m'appelle Shandy Wall.
Okay, so then how did I ask you for your name? Well, I said how. Now, if somebody makes a comment about something, they're, they're saying how they, how they like it or how they don't like it, right? So the French word for how is actually, it looks like comment, but don't forget, careful, you're not going to pronounce that last T. So this is going to be comment, comment. How you and yes, this one ends in S a little differently than the other one, and uh, that's because it's a conjugated verb, and I'll get you there as well. Comment t'appelles tu? And I will explain the hyphens later as well. Um, but this is how you say, How do you? Uh, call yourself. Como t'appelles tu? So, como ma como t'appelles tu? And tu is kind of like a like you know that 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 girl that sneezes and she gives. And you're like, did, did you just really sneeze? Was that a sneeze? I'm not really sure. But that's how you say the word you, one of the ways you say you in French, tu. Okay? So, comment t'appelles tu? How you, mm -mm. how you call yourself. So the French English, and what I'm going to ask you for is give me the French English, and you're going to write how yourself call you. How do you call yourself? Very, very, very different than mon nom es. Okay? So be very careful on those translations. Alright, so you're going to have comment t'appelles tu? Je m'appelle Shandy, comment t'appelles tu? Je m'appelle whatever. Alright? Um, then I said, uh, I think au revoir. Goodbye. Um, now, there are several ways to say goodbye in French. There are several ways to say hello in French. We have them in English, too. We say hello. We say hi. We say hey. And depending on who we're talking to, we're going to vary that just a little bit, you know. If I was talking to the president, I wouldn't be like, hey. I'd say hello. Um, and so it does vary. Uh, and that's just based on the context of the conversation. And, and however you want to say it. So, um... The most formal and the most common is bonjour, which means good day and is used to say hello. So you have bonjour, okay? Uh, then you can also say salut, salut, and again that T is not pronounced because it's not in careful. So you have salut, 